<laughs> and the thing with self moving mannequins, fuck that shit. <laughs> Look <laughs> that shit on my mouth. Yes, and you know what's going to happen next to you, don't you? <laughs> oh. See, that's why you don't put shit out in the ether. Don't say that to me, who uh, loves doing Yeah, that's stuff. why you always say something yeah. about what gives you out. Like, last, last night during Critical Role, and Grizz started getting ideas, and I was like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question that gave me the idea. I, you're not. I wasn't gonna reveal that. <laughs> Shush. So what you're saying is, we blame Shuttle. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was trying to say like, next time something bad happens, we know we should blame Shuttle. Okay. <laughs> I, I will. Okay, okay. Like yeah, probably. Last year with the. With, with the uh... With the Yeti and the white dragging. That was just weird that was just weird timing. <laughs> it was the same goddamn week. Yes, I was <laughs> sitting there looking uh, yep, Yeti, and suddenly they're up in the uh, they're up in the in the north and I'm like, wait a second, I'm literally looking at my my, my things right now, planning on something with Yeti, and they're there fighting Yeti. Interesting. <laughs> so what that means is you actually stole Mercer's notes. It's fine. Uh -huh. I did not. <laughs> Yeah, she has a secret floating. You need to uh, share. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when we last left off and were accidentally interrupted last week uh, because my uh, internet kept talking out on me. Uh, you guys had uh, met some new friends, uh, Crescent Oblivion and Cinna. Uh, Gamel decided to stay behind in Thorn's Tavern with Rhiannon's body. Um, Trying to find some way of getting her revived. Uh, you, the, you guys pursued the hill wasps over to their nest to craft the sticks. And managed to find an opening up in the top chamber where you did find your little friend Lulu. And managed to kill the, the wasps guarding her and block off the, the hole where they could c come back up through. And I believe that's where we left off. I think you guys were starting to search around the area, realizing that the you know the the wasp would probably be here soon, so you might not have too much time to search. But you you, you can do a quick look through. Cinna needs to get her arrows, and then she's gonna look for anything of interest as well. Okay. Yeah. Cinna's we'll so gonna look around for any of interest. Because there is uh, bits of gear scattered around here from. It looks like a previous adventuring party that got taken by the Hell West and turned into, um, food. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yummy. as you're looking around, uh, you do find bits of ruined gear, most of it. Unusable. But you do find some kind of, uh, of flashy helm. Uh, very interesting looking helm. Let's see, uh, if I can give you a proper description of it. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the things I like you take pulling out my uh, cards for because they got the really nice pictures of the, of the various items. But uh, you also find uh, scattered. Okay, so it's this really cool helm. It kind of looks like like the, it has the face of a the half face of an owl with um, some amethyst gems in the uh, over the eye holes and. The, head, the, the rest of the head part of it has these weird bumps and in, in contours all in gray. Rather strange looking. But you also find uh, three soul coins scattered about the room. Uh, did she gather any arrows, too? Uh, how many arrows did she shoot? Uh, she shot six. So roll a 1d7. Okay. I need to be diligent. On tr remembering this. Three still intact. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna forget. I already know. <laughs> okay, so three soul coins. Now we're looking at. Them. Three soul coins and a helm. Okay.
Well, this looks a little interesting. Um... Puts it on crescent. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just insta-cursed. Oh my god. Alright, you'll be able to attune to it and know exactly what it is in, in, um, after, during a short rest. But right now, there are... Um, you can hear the sound of wasps buzzing angrily. Some of them buzzing around the hole uh, over here. Uh, as you guys uh, work to get Lulu out of her confines. Uh, and you hear a call from this place saying, uh, Guys, they're, they're, starting to, they're starting to swarm out here. We, we gotta get going. Okay. Billy instantly climbs on uh, Hawk. Uh, Eagle Will. Who looks a bit confused at the people ar around her, because she, she, she's probably looking for... Um, Rhiannon, who she used to perch on, but she, so she, for now she just snuggles into the back of uh, of the eagle. You guys zoom, uh, out of, zoom out of there, and you see uh, Scar um, in the backdrop taking care of uh, some of the enemies. Uh, just like you know, behind you, she's just killing th she's just killing things left and right. As they come out, she—it looks like she's probably gonna be there a while. As you get, ah, sorry. As you guys decide what you're gonna do next. We. <laughs> so do you wish to uh, stay on this side of the sticks? Do you wish to uh, cross back over towards the hill? What do you wish to do? What's your, what's your game plan here? Bleeding Citadel. Yeah, I want to go to get the sword so we can chop chop the chains. And get the prisoner for Gamil. Oh, actually, Gamil yeah. isn't with, with us. Hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, the prisoner, uh. that, 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 that side quest failed. You, you didn't, you, you, uh, you, you didn't manage to keep them alive. They, you, instead, Rian killed them. Uh, to be fair, that wasn't what? really a dungeon. Well, that's not. That's yeah. Yeah. It's probably a misinterpretation of the of the thing. No, nah, that's the word that was given. It happens though. Sometimes God. Sometimes gods don't tell you don't tell you things in, in properly. Saying, when you get to the biggest tree, don't make sure you keep that guy alive. Instead of saying, oh, wait, okay, where are you going next? You, you you'll figure out who who the who I want from there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah gods, gods, gods are stupid like that. No, it's... Yeah, never mind. But didn't yeah, Gabriel no. tell no, us no. we would recognize whoever it was when we saw it? He was told he would, and he was also told when he got to the dungeons of the Bleeding Citadel. I think that the, that was a miscommunication part. I think that's exactly what I heard as well. <laughs> well, because... Well, well, so, uh, never mind. Uh... Basically, it was it was probably a mis some sort of miscommunication uh, on the part of that, because um, I think I I think I said uh, like you know where you're going to next, not necessarily the bleeding cell itself, or maybe it was saying something what you would thought of as the bleeding citadel, you know. Cause yeah, we there. would find the bleeding citadel uh, citadel yeah, if we went to Harman's. the iron forest or yeah, which is called Harmon's Hill, and. Um, that's where you. That's where Lulu originally thought that Lady well, Citadel was. Didn't knew that. I thought Harmon's Hill was where the Bleeding Citadel was. Exactly. That's the point. That because people kept thinking it was there. So that's why the the god used that terminology to say mm -hmm. that. That's why it got confusing. Well. Anyway. Bleeding Citadel then. Uh, no, but where are you gonna go to talk to Lulu? Because right now, you, right now you're in a very dangerous area where there are wasps that are looking to attack you. Nah, she's on an eagle. On an eagle. What could go yeah. wrong? So, Talk. what I mean is, are you guys going to stay on this side of the sticks, or are you going to head back over to the other side of the sticks to, uh, to, to reconvene and figure out your next, your next, uh, direction? The other side, I'd imagine, because that's mm -hmm. where we believe the thing is. Uh, yeah. So, you're heading back to Harmon's Hill? Not, not that hill, no. 
<laughs> not that hill. Another hill. Know. We're going to the one next to it that's called Harmony <laughs> Hill. Going to Bob's Hill. Mm -hmm. um, Harmony's Hill. Har Har Harmon's Har Har Harmon was, Har Har was the death knight or side of the hell, the hell knight that you guys killed, the one that killed Rhiannon. Yeah, the bastard. <laughs> I got killed by a guy that owns a hill, y'all. Where he put his prisoners? I'm special. He got killed on his hill. On his yes, hill. Hot damn. Oh, he was one letter away from being Saruman. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am really bad with pronunciation, so sometimes my brain will edit out a vowel. So I'm very sorry. But, um... But that's up to you. It's like you can stay here on this side where you see a hell wasp nest, or you can head back over uh, using the only landmark to to guide your way at the moment, um, Harmon's Hill, or Har Harmon's Hill, or whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, as I said, I'm not. I I just need to know which which spot you're at so I can continue on. Well, I imagine Crescent and Senna are following. Cause they don't know where these fuckers are going. Yeah. So. It's up to y'all. Other side of the river, not Harriman's Hill. Okay, so yeah. basically away from the battlefield and just kind of out in the middle of the blasted landscape where there's like crushed bone everywhere. Got it. Perfect. Safer than Harmon's Hill. <laughs> that place for someone died in. So you eventually make it back to the ground before your spells finish timing out. And I imagine at that point Eagle Form goes away. Nope. Four hours. Four hours, okay. <laughs> hour, two hours. Nope. <laughs> high, high level druid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. How many levels of druid do you have? Um... Nine. Nice. Cool. Four goddamn hours. Holy what's, your, what's your other level then? Rogue? <laughs> that is perfect. So Lulu looks around and says, "Where's where's Rhiannon?" Oh. Looks at Lulu. Looks. At Lulu. <laughs> looks, looks it, it, so sad and crestfallen when nobody responds to her. Eagle look, looks as bit looks at Biddy. Rhiannon... Rhiannon's dead. And I'll... I'll the whole like, sort of... Crying. Pat Lulu. Lulu pu pulls her trunk around, around Biddy's neck. Okay. I think it's trying to strangle him. <laughs> I, need, I, I, I can shoot it uh, uh, if I need to. <laughs> Small one, are you okay? I'm fine. My He's fine. Is gone. So... It'll, be, it'll be all right, Lulu. I think I, I think I, I brought us to the wrong place. I thought that was Not where the bleeding cool. citadel was. I was so sure. But... <laughs> it was just so hazy. It's so hard to remember. Oh. Oh, there's, there's a couple of places I think that might be important to find the citadel. That there's these these trees, these not the metal ones, these these things that are called the the spawning trees, and that's where demons manifest. And there's another place uh, that destroys them, a, a zapper. But uh, my, I don't know how. I, I don't know what's gonna happen when we get there. Maybe I'll we'll figure out where to go next after we visit one of them. Do you, do you, can you guide us to where that is? Where and one of those? Which one would you like to go to? Do you wanna uh, see the, the the spawning trees or or, or the, the demon destroyer? Ah, uh, question. 
Это же как. Oh, it's not typing, I don't think, sorry. Without looking up, maybe since we're on this side of the river, we stick with the one that's on this side of the river. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sounds fun. <laughs> GM question. Uh, mm -hmm. are, are you all a minimum level of 8 at this point, or is anybody still level 7? Me. Level 7. Alright. Ta-da! You're now level 8. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> da 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 Congratulations. <laughs> you survived. <laughs> Which means we're going to a harder area. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried. Well, I'm well, an eagle. Because you are an exterminator. <laughs> We're about to be exterminated. <laughs> oh, I don't know what class mm. I want to level up. Do I want to go to level 4 rogue or level 5 fighter? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Precisely. Wait, you're, going, you're going to level 8, right? Yeah. Uh, level 5 gives you extra attack, so... Yeah, for fighter. So you're going to level 4 and level 4 then, aren't you? I could. Oh, I could oh no, sorry. I didn't. I, oh, you're level 3 now. Sorry. Um, misunderstood. Level 3 rogue, level 4 fighter. I... What do you get at 4? Do you get anything at 4 rogue? Ability? Yeah, ability, ability score. Yeah. 5 fighter is know. extra attack, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which is always really nice. That would be nice because you know it gives you an extra chance for that sneak attack. Bigger hit die too. I mean, you do you, boo. Exactly. You do boo do boo. Boo do boo do boo. Hmm. Ooh. Yes. Noise. Max health. That's a juicy hit Bro. die. So look, Billy will survive a hit now. <laughs> Does the eagle form see anything other than rubble and death and distant battles? Walk. <laughs> next, my next form oh, is sorry, a giant, giant seagull. God, I keep forgetting that 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 that, that, that I'm muted when I'm here. Uh, You're good. Oh, first, okay. well, that's all. <laughs> all right. Mm. Hold on. How do I put advantage on this? Because I should have. Always roll advantage, no toggle. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So not too far away from you, uh, to what you guys have been pretty much thinking of as the east at this point, you see what looks to be a large volcanic structure, spewing um, huge plumes of, of smoke into the air, uh, and drifting away also towards the east. Which is kind of strange because there isn't that much in the way of winds out here, but things seem to mostly bend in that direction, which maybe is why you're you've been unconsciously thinking of like you know north, south, east, and west without uh, any real compass directions. Hmm. And Will is going to look at that structure and go, "Ah, it's a bleeding citadel." That's the 
direction you guys wish to head in, you are welcome to do so. And Willis think that's it, at least. <laughs> so are you gonna tell the rest communicate this to the rest of your party or what do you wish to do? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I have to get out of the eagle form. I'll come down, land, and just go. There's a structure over there to the east, I guess we'll call it. Uh, looks volcanic, and it's spewing out smoke. Hmm. Is that where we're going? I, well, do you have any other suggestion? Sit here. Wait for things to come to us. Denied. <laughs> Good. Well, you seem to be following the the holophant. Is that where the holophant wanted to go? Oh, Lulu. Do you recognize such a structure? Uh, she kind of looks up. What did you say it was again? Volcanic structure. Looks super evil. Spewing out smoke. That's, that, that's the forge. You, you don't want to go there. That's the forge. People are no, I don't do. want to go there. See, I told you, sinner. Crescent. <laughs> what? Right. Still not looking up from her what she's doing, but <laughs> just like very sarcastically. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Looks at the, the small little elephant. And why exactly don't we want to go there again? I wasn't paying attention. It, it, it's it, it's a, a, a huge forge. Uh, I don't think it'll be friendly at all. Not, I mean, Good! So I far, mean, liking less, it. Less friendly than other things around here. And the Heliphant just kind of blinks a bit. Who are you? Crescent. What are you? I'm me. What does it look like I am? The Heliphant just makes a, a weird, you know, tiny elephant sound. <coughs> and then looks over at Senna. Who are you? Folds up parchment. Msina. And you are I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> Not supposed to be here, I imagine. I, I I came here long ago with my angel. An angel in the hells. Well, that's a first. Uh. Considering that you saw lots of bo bodies of a of dead angels in that wasp nest, that's not really true. <laughs> there, were, there were a ton of dead angel bodies in there. Yeah, but still, just the fact that angels are coming to the hells is a first. <laughs> For a reason, like, she's just like, why are angels here? This is the hells. Why are you- why are they not in the- the heavenly planes, basically? The celestial plane. I think she came to fight demons. Mm. I like her so far. Hmm. And, and, and then she, she... She lost... She looks confused at that. Lost her sword? And, um... I, I don't know exactly what happened next. And you're here with this group? I found them, yes. They're, they're helping. They're helping me. Yes, yeah, so and speaking about that helping, I go and kind of tap on Lulu with the stuff. Where to next? Uh, I said, uh, maybe if you want to stay on this side of, of, of the sticks, 
the, the spawning trees, um, they're um, that way she points towards the south. That's where we were, that's what, isn't that where you were? No? The trees, the iron trees? Are they, the, are they different trees? That's, the, the, the spawning trees are left behind from lots of dead, of dead demons. They, 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 lots of dead demons on the ground will, will spawn trees and that was the site of, of such a huge battle once that the trees keep growing back there. So is that the direction of the bleeding citadel? I thought it was over here, and she looks a bit to the west where the, the hill still stands. <sighs> yeah, alright. Well, uh, excuse me for doubting you, but you thought it was in this direction. We got here, and it, things went bad. Uh, Lulu just uh, <sighs> hovers rapidly her wings. I'm just her saying. Her are you sure the spawning trees are really the direction we should be going? Lulu's ears just pulled down over her eyes and she Will... on her trunk. What? Be nice to Lulu. She just lost Rhiannon. Me too! Yeah, yeah, sad, sad. I'm just saying, unless you want to be next. No, 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 no. We head... Okay. Seems like everything in this plane seems to be changing. I can't even get it. I imagine Sin is having troubles what she's doing with how the pl the hells are. Uh, um, meaning? Uh, her, she's trying to use her wanderer feet to do ah, the, yes. the 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 like the plan that I told you about with the planes. Yeah, yeah. The, the uh, Avernus can drive you crazy for try for trying to map it. Yeah, so I imagine whenever she like folded up the parchment to talk to Lulu, she was a little frustrated. Well, that, speaking of which, what was her saving throw? Oh no! Oh no! Not everyone, right? Not Will. No, no, just, just, uh, sorry, just in Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. It just Whoa. reaches at the back of your head. It... You, you mentioned a little bit of the area, the hill, the forest. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You I'll write that down then. That on, on, on the map. Like, you know, the distance between the hill and the forge, basically, uh, Little bits and the bits of the sticks. Okay, let me write that down. Edit. <laughs> Nine house. And you know that somewhere past the sticks to the west, you, there's like you know some hell wasp nests, and somewhere to the south, but on this side of the sticks is something called the spawning trees. And that's, but that's uh, knowledge of what Lulu told you uh, in terms of the spawning trees. Okay, so no the hill, the sticks, the spawning trees, and the wasp nest. Got it. All right, what I mean by the sticks here is you only know a little bit of the curvature of the sticks. You don't. Yeah, <laughs> where it all goes through the fucking world, but she knows this area. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How about we just make our way towards that general direction? It's hard to keep track of everything going on here anyway. Get a wicked headache just trying to keep track of it myself. And that's saying a lot. Mm hmm Usually I don't have a problem at all. By the way, I hope you don't mind about this. Ding, ding, ding. Helmet on Crescent. Just kind of flicks it. I'm so curious what it is. So am I. That's why I put it on your head. <laughs> well, if I like it, I'm keeping it. More than welcome to. Maybe it was a wasp keeping helmet. Mm. Didn't do a very good job then. No. <laughs> Don't think so. Maybe it was a prototype. We'll find out. 
All right, little holophant, why don't you lead the way? All right. So the holophant oh. is going to lead the way. Uh, I need some of you to keep an eye out for things. Yeah, Sten is always on high alert, so yeah. she will. <sighs> well, he's going to look around. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out as well, just because he would. He's bored. Mm -hmm. uh, a new character, what the Oof. fuck? Hello. Character, who dis? And now I'm like, okay, does she get anything with perception? I don't think so. No. Alright. So I need at this point everyone to roll me after an hour's travel. Roll me a constitution saving throw. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Then, um, one level of exhaustion. Nope. Yep. She will burn ah. tireless. Well, well, actually, no, I think I have to do a short rest to do that. Will actually, yes. Jesse, one level of exhaustion. Yeah. She has one level. Oh, yeah. damn it. Unless you're, uh, yeah, uh, if you're evil, it doesn't affect you. Damn it, Grizz! My character was evil! Now you've added me! No, I'm kidding. I'm, she's evil. No. <laughs> poor, poor Betty, who was evil. Some, some, some yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Biddy, there you just yelled at Will for, for being mean to Lulu. These are just oh. of an evil person, therefore he got Ooh. an evil person can care about other people. Did, did, did Will just mean. become more evil than Betty? <gasps> No, An no, evil no, person it... can care about other people. Is Will gonna come out of the hell like a red cap? Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh that... no! Is Jesse there? He rolled. I, I, he is muted. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, I just want to make sure. I didn't... Sure I didn't. I don't know where to put the level of exhaustion. Oh, you can add it to his cheat, actually. Uh, sheet. Can't pronounce shit. Uh, Add it to your shit. Add it to your shit. Shit. Uh, you hit the gear, and then the very top right part of it on the, that look, that box on the top right, right underneath the gear. You should see like at the very at bottom, the bottom, bottom like, show yeah. exhaustion tracking. Yeah, just above general options. Yeah, right above the character mancer, essentially things, and then yeah, that'll pop go. up on Found your character. <laughs> Thank you. There's a, there's a lot of things you can add to the character sheet that's opt. Yeah, you know? Optional. Okay, so right now your level of exhaustion is one. And <laughs> it shows you right there disadvantage on ability checks. Uh, am I still evil from the alignment shift thingy? Oh, did you get your alignment shifted? No. I'm, oh, Rihanna fixed it if I'm not mistaken. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Rihanna did fix it with that. With that, that one spell. So yeah, you uh, your your alignment is still evil, which means you need, you need to roll. I mean, it's not, I thought it's she not ducked evil. out the way and fucking ran out the thing and started oh. fucking attacking. I, I, tried, I tried to, but the door was locked and I couldn't. Oh, I I don't know if she actually got a hand on you. Uh, uh, but th that's what caused the whole fight with the with the uh, with the mm -hmm. isn't it? Because you're mm -hmm. that uh, you were touched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, she so, got her so alignment fixed. Okay. Got fixed, which means you have to, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if she just got pissed that she was coming after her, or if there was an actual, like, touching involved. Yeah. That sounds a lot worse than it really meant to be, but it's fine. <laughs> it was the good touch. It was the good, good touch. <laughs> the good, good alignment fix touch. Okay. Directing for another error. Make uh, make your rolls. Con or perception. perception first. Okay. Oh, and I will whisper you something just for a reminder. 
I would also whisper you for some no reminder. Some, some um, hills. There's not much around except you do see a bit off to the east. Uh, the what looks to be the Wandering Emporium is currently uh, stationed. So everyone, please make a Constitution saving throw. Is that every hour as well? Yep. Mm -hmm. and the DC goes up every hour. <sighs> it still takes a short rest, sadly. And oh fuck! Well, yeah, you you just uh, you gain the level of exhaustion. Oh well. Speed is right. halved, and my speed wasn't much anyway. Somebody wants to pick up and carry Will. I mean, I will. Uh, looking for Crescent's roll and Irk's roll. That should be fine. Mm -hmm. I am neutral evil. Okay, well, if you're evil, you're you're fine then. Oh, that's good. Cause that was on a natural one. Well, yeah, you, you don't you don't need to roll if you're evil. I mean, he's evil, fluffy too. So does he ever need to roll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's the yeah. Evil. <laughs> it's fine. Crescent just doesn't have most emotions. Yeah. Irk. Jesse. He's Mike's. Flashing, I but not. You can hear the fan in the background or whatever that noise is. But... <sighs> We're just gonna have to wait for him to, to make the to make a roll, but. Some of you are starting to really feel the effects of fatigue from this march, and Will's speed goes down. As it and off to the east, you do see the uh, the Wandering Emporium has once again set up shop. You doing all right, old man, or do you need a rest? <sighs> well, I mean. How much further is it? I mean, I have a solution. Pulls out, a, pulls out an iron flask. You can rest in here for a bit. I will <laughs> destroy you if you suggest that again. I mean, I can just let you out. It's not that big a deal. I will not turn into a personal genie. The wish is high ground. Oh, you wish you wouldn't have wished them. I like that one. I keep them. Senna's just got a weird look on her face. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure we saw the right sign, that's all. Fun. I would love to rest, but uh, time, we don't have it, and I don't think a little stop would help much. All right, then somebody pick the old man up and let's keep moving. All right. Good walk around. Uh, I'm left. All right. Don't worry. If I run the battle, I'll put you down. I'll get better. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it. I'll turn it into something heavy. Can I throw you before you do that? Rather you didn't. Oh. Throw <laughs> 
Yeah, but a lot of people think it's rude, Crescent. You know what I told you? You don't just yeet people. I prefer stabbing them anyways, I suppose. I'm not opposed to that, if they become problematic, really. Well, that's a worry. I'm always problematic. It makes me think that Crescent and Lanissa will be the best of friends. Maybe. Until one steals the kill. <laughs> so, until Linus decides that she wants that blade for some reason. I mean, the pants, is it a nice blade? It's a big size. Mm -hmm. Ah, nah. It's not your style? No, nah, not my style. <laughs> he does have a bunch of mundane daggers on him, but that's yeah. because he can't. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Maybe the daggers. We'll see. I don't think he's really necessarily attached to them. They're just more for him to toss at people. <sighs> mm, he literally has like four daggers. Alright. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that Jesse's okay. I'm suspecting that maybe yeah, he fell asleep at his desk. Jesse is okay. Uh, he actually did uh, type BRB. Oh. I, I... Yeah, I, I scrolled up to look for oh, it because I was messaging him on Discord, uh, on Facebook. Okay. He said that he did say BRB. We all missed yeah. it. Yeah, we, we missed it because it was in the, it was in the slew of, uh, of roles. Saves. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Got it. No. And it, the thing about, like, I know this about Little 20s chat is it, uh, it's easy to miss things when rolls are happening because the rolls take up so much. Yeah. I wish there was a way to, like, I mean, because it kind of does, like, with your rolls, it, like, gives, like, a light blue background. If there's a way to, like, highlight, like, chat aside from rolls. I like, think they just did, like, you know, just, like, a different color for just. Yeah, the, and, like, exactly. For, like, the... I'm not sure, but I think you can set a timestamp on the chat messages, and uh, I think text and rolls would be separate because. But that's, I don't know, I haven't tried it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he did this, uh, he, he did a beer back almost 10 minutes ago. Oh, there's the chat timestamps, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that, yeah, I'd forgotten to, to set that up on here. I had it set up once, but apparently it unset itself. Yeah, same. Hmm. The only reason I, as a like player now, just oh, why he, I fuck me. Crescent would carry Will is because Will is slowing him down. And Crescent likes to go quick. Gets bored easy. Ah! So the idea is to press on. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, no rest for the wicked. Now I'm going to make the automatic roll for Urk since it's been 10 minutes. We don't really want to be held up by one person. Um, oh, uh, and those of you who have exhaustion, you have to roll, make that roll at disadvantage. No checks, not saves. Oh, you're right, checks. The saves are like tier 3, I believe. No, no. Tier okay. Yeah, yeah, they're free, actually. Sorry, yeah. my brain just sometimes translates the two. No, you're good. Oh, good. Yeah, when you get to tier three, you're fucked. Okay, you that. Good. Continuing onward. <clears throat> Walking for another hour around the curve of the sticks until finally the dreaded trees come into view. But it has been another hour, so you have to give me another check. Uh, okay. Just a con, or are we doing perception as well? Uh, perception check first, and then con. Okay. Well. <sighs> and then. Con. Been broken attention. Well. 
Exhaustion level three. Oh shit, Will. God damn. Exhaustion level. This I'm so good, right? Disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. I just made him. Oh, can I give this to people? I don't think so. Nope. So yeah, Myself. Like Damn it. Take a, a hit on their exhaustion level. Okay. You're both exhausted, and the trees have come into view, and I will describe them. Run to the right page. Ah! Don't. Don't. Cable. Ah! We're the spawning trees, right? And here is what you see. Tree-like growths cluster along the shoreline of a lake of bubbling black blue goo. Each such tree it seems to be formed from the same ichor as the lake and has writhing, membrous sacs bubbling from its limbs. You can see five bearded fiends heaping coals around the, the trunk of one of these trees. As they hurl more coals onto the pyre, four of the number cruelly poke and tease the fifth member of their group. Hmm. Let's see, perception check. Uh, Quentin and Biddy, you hear this weird, but it almost sounds like a clucking noise coming from nearby. Anyone want to eat some chicken? <laughs> See, you say that! <laughs> I'm gonna mute. They were like, hey guys, do you hear the chicken? What? Chicken? Yeah, we're in the hells, there aren't chickens I down here. Fucking... I don't know, maybe hell chicken, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been here. No. Hell chicken. Is that a thing? I doubt it. Do I care right. that's pointed out? Yeah. She muted. You can see that the, uh, by the way, that the devil that seems to have been, um, be, being, in the process of being teased by its fellows, Looks like it has lots of scars, including several along its head. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to be wanting to, to continue on with its work. It's just kind of looking at them, putting up its hands, and just kind of backing up a bit. And as, as you get closer, you notice where the clucking noise is coming from. There are several... Um, Bizarre looking creatures. Uh, semi beaked, but it's a beak filled with teeth for some reason. They don't actually look like chickens, but they're clearly making a chicken noise. And they've got these large, bizarre fins on, the, uh, on their backs instead of regular wings that look kind of like two blades. And they have sharply taloned feet. But they are definitely making the clicking noises. And one of the Bearded Devils is like, you know, just bringing its weapon down upon one of them before it could bite him and just kind of growling at the at the, at the injured, de uh, the scarred up devil and going, come on, come on, just, just kill him and put them on the fire with, with the tree. Then they're saying that in Infernal. Hmm. Senna will relay that. Apparently they're just, I don't know what they're doing, but apparently those little things they don't give a shit about. Seem to be more pest-like. Why they're clucking. That's just odd. So what are we doing here? Yeah, so we went here because Ludu said this is where to go. Alright. Well, uh, well, I'm just asking... Generally. Might... Yeah, I think Lulu said to head this direction. Yeah. And Lulu might remember something more if we go here. As the, as the four teasing devils look up, they kind of like 
seem to notice your group because you're not being at all stealthy. And they're kind of nope. glaring. And one of them points a weapon and it's like, ah, looks like uh, some material planes are. We should get them and put them on the fire too. Ha ha. An infernal. You can certainly try. Noxbow, I don't come from the material plane. Wave really? staff, threaten yeah. them. Oh, either a um, intimidation or persu persuasion check, depending on which one we would prefer. I think Russ is just trying to be intimidating. All right. To be fair. Can I just assist with what I said? Sure. Gives you advantage. Okay. Go for it. <sighs> the, the, the devil's um, suddenly. Realizing that you're probably more than a match for them, lower their blades and grumble. What? You, you here for the abyssal chickens or something? Abyssal chickens? Question mark. Out of character. I fucking love these things. <laughs> <laughs> they Willius, look so funny. <laughs> Will just looks at Lulu. So abyssal chickens. Does that? Uh... Ring a bell for you? He actually nods a bit. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Jesse. We missed you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't gain any more more uh, more fatigue, so that's you're good there. Yay. Found a bristle chickens and devils. Mm hmm Uh oh. Uh seems legit. Worth the spawn trees. Mm-hmm. The devils are, are currently been intimidated. Of course. The fifth devil, who is again um, sporting uh, scars, just kind of like looks over at you guys. Ah, thank you. I was looking for. I was looking for pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's the abyssal chicken. It's on our Discord page. Oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love them. They look so funny. <laughs> Can I keep one? No. Do they leave eggs? Mm -hmm. I wonder how good their eggs would be cracked over a skillet. To die for? So, uh, as, as, as the the devils turn away from the group of you, uh, they they look over at again at the at the fifth member of their group and go. Uh, yeah, you haven't been right for a while, a while, cr Crooken. Maybe we should throw you on that pyre, too. Just get it over with. And the, uh, the Scarred Devil's kind of, go, its eyes go wide and it backs up a bit. What do you guys Uh, Senna and Infernal. Somebody not pulling their weight. One of the other devils looks at you and responds in Infernal. Eh, ever, ever since that Varrock uh, ne nearly killed him the, a while ago during one of the many skirmishes, uh, he just ain't been right. This will be putting him out of his misery for, for he can't even do the simplest of char tasks anymore. Well then why don't you? Obviously he's not doing his job. Of you wish to interfere. They're speaking in the fernal. I speak gnomish. <laughs> Alright. Mm. I think, I feel like just Crescent would just say more acid mindedly in common. I think they're gonna kill the scarred one. Why? Oh, Not pulling his weight a little off. Shouldn't we kill the other two? Maybe he can help us. Maybe he knows stuff. There's uh, four other ones. Maybe we should kill the four other ones. Maybe the dumb one will help us. That's that's, a, that's fine with me. They're gonna. I just asked a question, and they're just gonna straight up kill him because he's not pulling his weight. All right, all right. So if y'all want to go, they're gonna kill him right now. If we have to, I'll do whatever you want. Just put me down first. Discussion. Okay, okay. Keep your beard on. So Someone what are we doing? We predict obviously. we're protecting the weak one. Or are we going to like she's just she's got her bow out? It's like, are we protecting the weak one? Might as well. 
might be able to get something. Good out of it. Are, are we gonna go? Lady beam with me. Knock, draw. Arrow loose. Uh, same thing though, dagger in the face. Well, you, you guys are kind of up a bit and they're a little ways away, but um, yeah. She got a longbow! <laughs> I, was saying, I was saying that for Lanissa. Oh, okay. I got 60 feet. I don't think we would be yelling at them from 60 feet away, so... Do you have sharpshooter, Lanissa? Yeah, yeah, I have sharpshooter. Nice. I couldn't remember. I just I couldn't remember. Okay, make sure I have initiative advantage. Yes. Okay. I don't oh, have very many fuck me. Options. Am I supposed to roll initiative with disadvantage? Because I'm not sure if it did it automatically or not. Um, hoover over it? Yeah, yeah. I got... I got initiative at advantage, it would seem. I think I'm supposed to be at the 17, not a 20. Yeah, because I got a... You, you can update your turn order. Yeah, I got, I got advantage for the shield, but disadvantage for ability mm -hmm. checks. Yeah, I forgot to click my token, that's why I redid mine. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna type it out. Mm -hmm. 17, there we go. Yeah, let's fight. Disadvantage on ability checks. Speed halved. Disadvantage on everything. <laughs> that's fine. Just stay back here. Yeah, that's what. That's the plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are. We are your meat shield, Will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, at least Will is a spellcaster, so it shouldn't impede him too much. Nope. Lots of saves and stuff. Battle, 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 battle. Cheat before doing that. I hate when I do that. I'm assuming mm. the darkened one is the scarred one? Yes. Okay. And I'm assuming sitting on uh, uh, Crescent's shoulders while walking is not a short rest. I love how we are the ones that made them kill him, and now we're saving him. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you didn't unfortunately get a short rest. Doing that, there was too much movement. Yeah. I will, be, um, I will say it this way. Crescent is probably not gentle. Just gonna go grab another cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I think Will also needs maybe a few of those. Oh, I just noticed the tiny little abyss of chickens. They're so hard to see. Yeah. Well, they are tiny. They're tiny fiends. I oh, just think like, because of like the color on the background, they're hard yeah, to see. That too. <laughs> so, Cine gets to go first. Okay. Yep. I think <laughs> some couple people won't get coffee. And back. Welcome back, friend. Got a full mug of the black oozy liquid. Do we finally have a surprise round? No, so, we talked to them. <laughs> they're so not surprised. Well, well, they're not surprised in terms of uh, not knowing that you're there. You and uh, Cinna both got an attack off at, at, at the same time. You see those same targets. She went and got Toby. Okay, I thought I heard her coming back. I guess it was Jesse. There's still no assassin. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm back. So you, you, you and um, and Vanessa both uh, you know made a preemptive, a preemptive strike. So who are you striking first before you? Oh, cool. So this is before turn order. Yep. Cool. Uh, she'll go for. <sighs> Fuck me. Let's see. Oh shit, that is the wrong thing. Don't move. Uh, yeah, she'll go for 
this one right here. Help me ping. Yeah, she'll go there. Um, so preemptive strike. We'll do longbow. There we go. Warning, yeah. A nice magical weapon? Yes. Alright. Get gas and paint, Lunissa. Which one are you strike? Which one are you throwing dagger a dagger at? Um wait. I'll I'll throw a dagger at uh this one. This one is one we wanna kill, right? Yeah, the one that we don't want to kill is just the one that's named right here. Okay. Uh, I don't get assassinate. Correct, because they do know you're there. It, you would still have an advantage, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to say... Oh, damn it. It's too late for shot shooter, right? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, I do get sneak attack. Uh, do I only get one attack, or do I get both attacks? Because I do have... Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. I presume that hits though. Yeah. Is the uh, the weapon activated or not activated? Uh, it's the, it's always a plus one dagger, so okay, it doesn't yeah. matter. I'm just curious. Right. It's the flame one that needs to be activated. Can't it onto anything? Uh, why did I lose my turn? Oh, sorry! My bad. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, my brain got confused there. You're good! Uh, hey, what it's all good, on. Okay, uh, so, same motherfucker. Uh, bonus action. That's a different motherfucker. No, that's the motherfucker she hit! <laughs> no, this is the one that you hit. No, I pinged this one. Uh, that's, that's the one that Lunissa hit. That's the one that I saw you ping. I, ping. I, I thought I saw you ping this one here. Uh, originally, so that's the one I subtracted damage from. Okay, well then, we'll go for that one then. Uh, so... Um, hold on. Yeah, she will burn another one of her Hunter's Marks. Uh, so let me toggle that. So that one is marked, and then she will do two shots. Um, I can probably cut it out, to be honest. Uh, that should be a bit better. That second, that second strike kills it. That, that bearded devil is dead. Um, let's see. She's gonna move away from the group, actually. Um, let me just get a range real quick. Oh, fuck. R ruler, where are you at? Ah! Yeah, she's gonna go over here. Let me just make sure she's not out of range. No, she could. Okay, that's her turn. Devils. He's advancing on Kirk and Dalt. Looks up at you, you guys. Makes a grimace. Uh, knew they were going to attack us. We should have gone after them first. And let's see. There. Ah. He's gonna yeah, look at you guys, uh, look back at the, the chicken that's nearby, and just kind of stab at the chicken with its, with its glaive. I don't have advantage on that. 
Well, it's a 13, so that would, t that would strike anyway, but, uh, just kind of brings this thing down. The chicken makes it a huge squawking noise. And then it's flapping rapidly with its little, uh, its little blade, um, its little blade wings. But it's still alive. Another bearded devil. Let's look at, takes a look at what's going on here. There. Turn around and stab, make, make a stab at, uh, at its companion. And miss. Biddy, what do you do? Uh, they're a bit too far for me to kill them yet, so gonna go there and that's my turn. Will. Uh, Will is going to uh, right here, drop a fairy fire. Okay. So dexterity saving throw. What color is your fairy fire? Green. DC 16. These two light up. Uh, I believe I get the chicken too. <laughs> no, I won't check the chicken. <laughs> oh, no, it gets the chicken. Sparkle chicken. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna. The chicken succeeds, though. It doesn't get hit with the fairy. Of course, dexterous chicken. <laughs> yep. Chickens are always dexterous. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. five, 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 five. I mean, have you ever tried to catch a chicken? They very yes. are. <laughs> yep, it, 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 get out of the way. All right, so that's where it is, and I'll. Step. How, how do you yeah. guys not know how to catch a chicken? And that's what will. Does no so bonus action. Everyone have chickens in Australia? No, but we used to have chickens just so that means we could have eggs in the morning. That's awesome. So, and the best way to catch them was, hey, scratch the dirt and they come straight towards you. Really Just cool. scratch the grass, and then they're like, "Oh, what's this rustling noise? Peck, peck, peck! Oh, I'm being picked up." <laughs> what is uh... Oh, and also we ended up calling one of them Choco because they were kind of yellow and very fluffy. So it was basically uh, a chocolate bear. Well, there's fairy fire on those, so yep. I'm able to reach. Okay. Uh, it comes to work. Yeah, the spell area actually disappears after I cast it. It's just, it's yeah. a fact. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not yeah. there anymore. No point having it. Yeah, I was, I was playing in the West Marches game where somebody had set up all these cool spell effects that I really should do for it, for these games, to make, just to make it easier for you guys. But, because I, I always think that, you know, they apparently made a bunch of NPCs that were just there for spell, uh, spell effects, so, mm. so they could save the tokens. I thought that was neat. Cool. Uh, if my thing is gonna let me roll, I'm gonna throw... Uh, two daggers with sharpshooter at this guy. Okay. If roll 20 would be so friendly. If you would be kind. Would you be kindly. So kind. Please, game, let us play. No. You <laughs> rolled in that one to roll. <laughs> you misclicked. <laughs> you accidentally clicked on the X. Roll 20, drop it, dice on the board, picking it up. Give it a moment. <laughs> <laughs> fucking roll 20 has the fucking uh, apple icon. The spinning beach ball of death. Come on. Okay.
I touched the wrong dagger. Ouch. <laughs> Stabs himself in the leg. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, wait, why didn't it that? Why isn't the sharpshooter damage on there? I don't know. Oh, well, the first one misses completely. Uh, um, this one would hit. Uh, uh, there should be an additional... There should be an additional 10 damage on that, because I... Yeah, that's 16 and plus 8. 24. Yes. And it hits that, that weird beer devil right in the stomach, and it goes... Ugh! And this weird blood starts oozing out of it. I'm just gonna stand there and look at them like, hey. Irk. Time to get this show on the road. Um. <laughs> Why didn't concentration marker up? It has been removed since last session. Ah. Yeah, because I was doing the uh the the, the cloud of daggers. Okay. Yes. Yeah, anyway, uh, how far away am I? Uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to use use uh fuck what was it shadow. Yeah, I'm going to use Shatter in the middle of these two, because it's a 10-foot radius. Alright. And, yeah, I'll just... I'll make a roll for it. Shatter. At level 3, because fuck them. You know? And I'll also put up the, uh... The, the spell... Thing as well, if I can, uh, somehow. Oof. Get fucked, devil. I don't know how to show shadow. Not something they're they're immune or, or it's something they're neither immune nor resistant to. So if they take full damage on this. But... Also, it might hit that yeah. little ten foot radius should hit that chicken, I believe, right? Yep. I don't think way. it can. I don't think I can and do I'll give Crescent yeah. Oblivion uh, Bardic Inspiration. Oh, God. With uh, the no top potential. So, because I think that it just comes with that. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, we need to... It's a lot of yeah. text. I forgot about that. What, what, what's the note you play for him? Oh, uh, he can pick yeah. later, though. Isn't that the thing? Yeah. Yeah. When a yeah. creature uses it, they choose which note they use. Oh no, no, no. sorry. I was thinking more of um, like you know. Oh, how you inspire? Oh, how you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, the note is red, and it looks like that it's got horns on it. <laughs> and I'm playing Doom Internal music. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice. No, that was Undertale. <laughs> Crescent, are you aroused? <laughs> oh, You're welcome. <laughs> oh, coffee. Why I didn't think to do this before I saw seeing. For seeing it done in West Marches, but uh... don't worry, I got the perfect music for Biddy. Whenever I bardic inspiration him, fucking Discord's being a dick. Is it Discord or like, like it's not it? minimizing properly, it, or not split screening properly? It's weird. Oof. And it's, yeah. uh, te it's ten foot radius area. What was that again? Uh, yeah, it's a ten foot radius, but it's only like a smite thing. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I don't know how to show it on the thing. That's okay. I mean, even spells. If I click on it, I just cast it. So. Let's click on the cogwheel and scroll down and. Show text in chat. Is that a thing? 
That's a thing. Where, where, where? The, the cogwheel on the spell, that is. Yeah, I got the cogwheel. And Where's the other part? Bottom before the description starts. Ooh. Just reading my things. Uh, let's see here. Wait, what the fuck is it? What is that? No, I was just trying to. I was experimenting with this because, yeah, there we go. Is that a chicken on the initiative? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the chickens have an initiative. Yeah, be afraid of the chickens. I just saw that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm just gonna start doing that from now on. Make make the actually cr create those things that you guys can just drag and drop in there. Because I've been wanting to do that for some time. I just didn't realize that the way to do it was to make an NPC. <laughs> It didn't occur to me till I saw it done in West Marches. Uh, so Irk's turn is. Oh. You gave it inspiration to Crescent Oblivion, and it's now Crescent Oblivion's turn. There's a run up. Hexblade's curse on that one. The one he's closest to. Mm-hmm. And because he's got advantage, he's going all out. Great weapon master. Ah, ten foot reach. You gotta love those. Yep. I just gotta make sure I'm hitting the right thing here. I gotta check this real quick. Uh, that shouldn't be... What is my proficiency bonus? Three. Right? Yeah, three. Sorry, just fit. my thing got adjusted on me. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Uh, so, first swing. If it'll roll. So, 21 minus 5. Oh, so 21 minus 5. I didn't. Uh, your thing didn't spark up with advantage. Okay. Huh, that's weird. So, oh god, that's a lot of damage. Yep. 30. One. Okay, it's still standing. Just barely. <laughs> Hexblade's curse. Oh, I'm still standing for now. Uh, Hexblade's curse just adds my proficiency to the damage. And also makes me crit on 19 to 20. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. I kept think. Uh, sorry, I was yeah, not... using it with Hex. Yeah, yeah very similar that, names. I put the Hex marker on there. I'll attack it again. Uh, There you go, 21 minus 5 again. <laughs> That one, uh, his head and body separate from each other, leading it. And I heal for. Once again, plus... leading out a bit. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so that's plus. He heals for 12, and he turns to the other one. Time to dance, friend. <laughs> uh, you so often play insane characters. <laughs> yep, that's all he can do because he's already used his bonus action. Let's see, the little chicken comes running up and attacks the uh, the bearded devil over here uh, with advantage. Oh, that's true. Yes, it, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I give advantage to the chickens. Poor person. Please die to a chicken. Two d twenty plus. Uh, yeah, that's enough. To, that second part's enough to hit. And let's see, it gets two attacks. This first one. Let's see. Wait, are the chickens attacking the demons? Devils. devils. The demon chickens are attacking devils. the devils. Oh my god, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> Demons! <laughs> Can we keep one? A huge stream coming from it as it, uh, as it just pecks. And, 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 it, it, well, what would be a peck on a regular chicken is a bite from this from this demon chicken. And then it reaches up and attempts to, 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 to scratch it with its claws. And 
that hits. Sorry. Uh. I want one. <laughs> and then slashes at the tendons, and a, a, the devil just collapses. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I really want one now. That one's saying we're fucked. We're keeping that chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> Starting to, to to rip and tear at the devil flesh in front of it. <laughs> God, we are keeping that chicken. <laughs> oh my God, I that love abyssal chicken chickens ass. even more right now. <laughs> I'll call him Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpernickel, the abyssal chicken. Abyssal. Yes. Did, did Christian will you say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> Kirk adult looks over at the at the chicken there and, and says, it's, "It says in infernal, run, pumper, pumper nickel, be be free." And it takes its glaive and uh, stabs at this guy back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I love it. You hear the other devil grunt. Like traitor, you hear it yelling in in, in infernal. As, uh, well, I'm... The other chicken gets to go next. <laughs> Kirkendall then runs with Pumpernickel and Rye. The other one then attacks him back. Grunts in pain as he takes the glaive in, in the back as he uh, runs. The other abyssal ch ch chicken will charge at the bearded devil over here. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I didn't realize that these technically were not supposed to be, um, uh, you know, magical attacks. There's nothing about these being magical attacks, and I treated the other one as if it had didn't have any magical defenses. But, you know, maybe that one didn't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, uh, I just remember I have to have the, this damage, this, take this damage in half. But, uh, these chickens are uh, badass. Uh, this one, let's see. Do we even oh, need to intervene at this point? I think the Doomslayer would be scared of these chickens. It does Do we need to? Damage no. This guy. This these chickens, yeah. these chickens are hardcore. And then does another 3 damage to that guy. <laughs> the bitter devil looks down at the chicken. And starts insulting an infernal, filthy little de demon spawn. And we'll do beard. Can X shout at him? <laughs> Which the chicken you hear it go ah! and start divided in two into little oozing piles. For the devil looks around and sees you guys. What did you want to try to shout as, it was, as the chicken was being killed? Fucking that he's even more dirty and uglier than the chicken. Cutting words. Uh, I I could I could uh not cutting words, but um, what is it called? Uh, vicious mockery. That has to be on your turn. Yeah, I know, but I I I didn't want to actually vicious mockery. I was just pointing it out. Unfortunately, there is such an ability for bards it's called cutting words. That's essentially Mistress Mercury off turns that uh, reduces uh, an attack. Yeah, only for the lore bark, too. Yeah. But it would have been enough to potentially save that chicken's life if you had had that. No! Cinna. I need cutting words. 
this action, moving Hunter's Mark over to this one over here. Uh, then uh, two shots. Jeez. Damn. Wow, that's enough to kill that to kill that bearded devil. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, Nickel has a name. <laughs> he it. Yeah, I don't know. I know. The, the, the one abyssal chicken is just sitting there contentedly on the on the bearded devil's body, just ripping apart the flesh. Oh, as, God. Uh, it's a perfect pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, devil, the reigning bearded devil is holding a sack close to itself. Um, you know, just kind of gazing out around the, the field. It's kind of shaking his head slowly. They're the, the going to, to end me, I suppose. All because I was trying not to let them hurt the chickens anymore. Be careful, it might bite. Hex <laughs> kind of just like, Come on, little buddy! Come on! Roll the animal handling check. Can I get an Aussie advantage? Aussie advantage! <laughs> 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 I will allow you one time. Yes! Yes! Advantage <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> it only works against Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. The, 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 the abyssal chicken pull, pulls out some more of the, the devil meat and hops up into your arms. Yeah! I have claimed pub and nickel. <laughs> can, can I get some chicken fire armor? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Even though that it already looks cooked. Um <laughs> Sin is gonna go pick up her arrows. Uh meanwhile the the, the bearded devil named Kirkendalt uh, uh pu pulls another chicken out of it uh, out of the sack that it was holding and just kind of pets it gently and, and says, There, there, ear wax, we're all safe now. <laughs> oh, uh, why, what, out of in there, really, really fun. What language are you why speaking? Are we... Infernal. Okay. Why are we saving the chickens again? They're really fun, I like them. <laughs> uh, I think we were saving this weird man. Uh, hey, do you know something about a sword? What language are you speaking? Common. The, the, the devil doesn't seem to understand you. The devil like, looks over at, at, at Krentz at Oblivion. Uh, well, I happen happen to like them quite a bit. They 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 might seem very or ordinary, and they're of course um, devil uh, demonic and you know abyssal, but they they can be quite sweet if you get to know them. All right. They're wanting to find a sword. Sword. Interesting. Uh huh. Do you recognize that thing? He points at the uh, elephant. Oh, what a pretty creature! What is that? I think it's a hala. Holophant. Uh, over the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like trying to pick up arrows. <laughs> How many arrows did you use? Five. Roll one d six. Okay. Grizz, could I have the sheet for the chicken? Uh, I don't have a sheet for the chicken made yet. You find two arrows still intact. Cool. Can I have a, uh, the the ability to move it? All right. Because I, I, I do plan on taking this chicken on my adventures now. <laughs> oh, God. Until one random stray fireball takes it out. <laughs> oh, can I? I feel the chicken just... Or Senna gets hungry. Well, it's, it is 
resistant to fire. Yay, thank fuck. <laughs> you do notice that the, that the chickens don't appear to have any sort of eyes. That they it's uh, fine. Have purely I'll, in blind sight. I'll, I'll hand feed this one. This is they also thing. don't appear to be able to fly. They can just kind of hop a little bit. I'll, I'll give them the meaning to know what it feels to fly. I have wings. She's my new pet that one. Oh, no, I, I don't recognize that creature. It is, it, it's quite lovely, actually. Alright, so... So, so... So lovely and uncorrupted in all of the uh, Vavernous. Well... Okay, we're trying to find the, what'd y'all say, Bleeding Citadel? I don't know where it is, but I might be able to help find somebody who does. That would be most helpful. They are probably want to be paid, though. Oh. Alright. <laughs> the, the, the devil looks over at the bodies. Uh, if, if you loot those, you might be able to, um, to find uh, some things for payment. They, they probably have some soul coins and maybe some ichor in there, on them. Eric's gonna look for some gold and soul coins. Roll investigation. Okay. okay. With disadvantage because of a fucking exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that investigation yeah. for my arrows should have been at disadvantage. Sorry, I don't know why I that. So you're rolling eight. You can't have to figure out what, what you're looking for. Holy shit! One of them looks through, you know, the bodies and I... discovers a total of. Five soul coins, uh, sorry, four soul coins, because we're forgetting about, yeah, four soul mm -hmm. coins and three vials of demon ichor. Cool. It's very hard to search for coins while holding a chicken. Ah. I am going to become a chicken bard. I can do so, chicken yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Backup dances of chickens doing the chicken dance. Major image of giant chicken. Yeah, there's nothing much more metal than demons. <laughs> I'll uh, teach you how to pluck the guitar. How far away is your uh, friend? Well. I'm not going to call them a friend. This is someone I believe would probably know best where to find such a thing as the Citadel. Uh, yeah. That's assuming that they're currently in Avernus. Um, you'll be able to tell uh, if their tower has arrived in, in the uh, the Lake of Blood. Oh, oh the Lake of Blood! <laughs> Sounds inviting. Well, yes, I love it. Well, it, it it's, it's over near the, the Sundered Chains. Um, it, it's not too far away from the dock. Uh, on the other side of the sticks. You got to get. <laughs> How many times are we gonna have to cross that? This game and its fucking I sticks. I want to murder everything in Avenus. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's, that's a typical attitude of most people who live here in Avernus. Um, you you saved me and uh, and you saved my my friend Earwax here. I'm keeping your chicken. No no no. He he points at the chicken that's in his arms, not the one that's in your arms. This, this oh okay. <laughs> this is my friend Earwax. The chicken clucks contentedly, occasionally showing its sharp teeth. I love <laughs> <laughs> Kills everything in Avernus becomes a celestial guardian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, fuck! <laughs> I just want to be evil, yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be 
so funny. Oh, and then you just turn into face <laughs> off and kill every god you see. Uh, and only ever corrupted and becomes a god of good. <laughs> <It's> like, uh... <laughs> like you know, okay. Hunter trying to become evil becomes extremely good instead. Hey guys, mm -hmm. just think of this, right? If you killed all the demons and and you become a celestial and you go to the heavens, there's just more to kill. There's nothing left in hell to kill anymore, so you might as well kill the heavens above. The Hollyfoot informs you. Hmm? You, you don't become a celestial for, for killing demons or devils. Okay, way to ruin the fun little guy, but sure. <laughs> All right, so the other side of the river we go then. Maybe the vehicle's still the, there. Hopefully, the mage will be there. His, his tower is, un, is, is impossible to miss uh, when it's here, and of course, it always drags a big crowd. Everybody wants to work for him because he pays well. But um, yes, he, he he will probably be a best way of, of knowing um, how to get to the to the citadel. And who does this mage have a name or just um, magic in the let's tower? Let's see if he is aware of the name so he remembers it. Oh, I rolled a nat 20. Oh, oh shit. Yes, uh, in fact, he, he kind of brightens up with a smile. I think I worked for him once, a, a long time ago. Uh, oh. His, his name is Mordekainen. Oh, fuck <laughs> Oh, okay. Morna <laughs> Kennen. Could we roll a history check? Yeah, I feel uh, like. <laughs> at disadvantage because it's just too hard and it's barely listening. And Crescent will also because he's been a while, been around. Well, so, so, so yeah. Uh, several of the, the nearby nope. trees, the ones that haven't been oh, wait. around with, with, uh, with coals, uh, have sacks it's that suddenly burst advantage. open, revealing more chickens. Who immediately run towards the the bodies that are all around and start chewing on them? Ah, that's so fun. So, Sina, you know from your nope. history check. What? Nope. Mm -hmm. Forgot disadvantage <laughs> oh. six. No, no, no. You're right. Yep. I got a ten. <laughs> yeah, darn it. Nobody knew. Ro nobody rolled high high enough. And yep. Fine. I'm gonna give it a fucking roll because screw it. I I do music so. Or a bar. Yeah, that bar, would make sense. No things. Yes. Wait. Disadvantage. Um, no. Disadvantage. disadvantage nine. <laughs> Is it possible Billy might know? Of course. You're. You're. you're d d nope. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the answer is no. <laughs> oh God. Uh, He's like really famous too. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa, have you rolled? Ah uh, no. Sure, I'll make a roll. Nah. Apparently not. So, if we ever meet him, we're gonna be like Morton. <laughs> Morton Fyfen? Morton. Morton. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. So across the Morgan kind of. Oh, lightheaded. <laughs> Yeah, you have a way across. Oh, uh, <laughs> you. I might need a short rest because my wings are flying and they do an hour's worth. And then I've got to wait uh, 1D 24 hours or something like that. Yeah, I think you ended up rolling a 1, didn't you? Yeah, yeah but it's probably been over an hour since we've been here. Yeah, it's been it's been yeah, like three hours since you you've been walking down here. So that means I my yeah, wings wouldn't be able to actually fly. Yeah, you haven't had a short rest or anything like that, so. Yeah, on your back for one hour until you repeat the command word as an action. The wings give you a flying speed of sixty. When they disappear, you can't use them again for one d twelve hours. Yeah, so you can roll. You should roll when it ended. See how many hours it took. Well, it, earlier he made a roll that was a one. Yeah, he rolled a last one. Time, and, uh... Now it's... 
eight, so I had to wait eight hours. Been traveling for three? Yep. So five more. <clears throat> well, you have some choices. You can camp here. Uh, you can spend an, an hour's travel heading back north to see if the if the Wandering Emporium is still there and rest, find a way of resting there for, for a couple of hours so Eric, Eric can recharge. Um, yeah, that might be a little bit better. Continue. Crescent's fine with just resting right here. Yes, yeah, Senna will be... Random direction to see what, 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 what the whims of fate take you. Uh-oh. Uh, Senna's gonna say... <laughs> I don't, I don't need a caravan to rest and camp here. Kendall kind of nods, and watches the 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 hungry other chickens, uh, devouring the bodies. Uh, it's just kind of lowered down to one of the bodies, still holding the chicken, but letting the chicken eat. <laughs> Hear them squawking, occasionally flapping their wings at things. Such cute little buddies. <laughs> Has the helm Cinna put on Crescent kicked in yet? Uh, will in a short rest. Got you it. Guys are live a short rest. Uh, yeah. Crescent. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you um finish your 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 short rest, you realize that the helm you have on your head. Is a helm of telepathy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now I can fuck with people's minds. Great. God. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Cause that's not gonna go poorly. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I think the short rest is also a perfect time to take a quick bathroom break and get water and such. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Yeah, we're done. Or wait. Oh, fuck. I'll ask later. <laughs> oh, I can use an action to cast attack thoughts. Yep. I thought... I thought I was maxed out on attuned items, but I don't... I need to double check. I just thought it would be funny if he had it. <laughs> <coughs> Where is my character sheet? Uh, D&D Beyond. Uh, equipment. Yeah, she's all attuned out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he has, it's the tech thoughts at will. Mm -hmm. It's also DC 13. Uh, as long as I'm in concentration, I'm using... I can use a bonus action to send telepathic messages to the creature that I'm focused on. It can reply using a bonus action to do so while your focus continues on it. However, while focusing on a creature, once a day, I can cast the suggestion spell on them for DC 13. That's oh, God. Lovely. I'm so Imagine happy. Imagine if you did that on the, like, the BBG. I'd be like, okay, turn yourself in. Yeah, so I think that was like an over uh, something that like with the polymorph and the control. I think that was something that Grizz overlooked that she might have changed with Galen Cole. Okay. Yeah, I don't think because we did polymorph. We did polymorph. She got turned into a snail. But, uh, but she repconned that. She said yeah. That shouldn't work. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Because he's like a legendary, like, celestial, yeah. what the fuck. Yeah, he should have be, been a man. Big so. Yeah. I'm gonna go make lunch. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay. I got a chicken. I got a chicken. You can't have him. It's like almost like the fucking... Uh, I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. You got a dirt. Hmm. 
Ale na raz mamy uczelnię. Oh, fuck. Better out than a Nile would say. Welcome back, guys. How's it going? Yeah, it's going all right. I'm, I, I, I had a J, and I actually had two Js, but my last J, uh, I've got these flavored papers for it, for my weed, right? So I decided to mix my chocolate papers. My coconut papers and my cherry papers all together to make a cherry ripe joint. It, it was beautiful. But other than that, I'm, I'm just waiting until, you know, me and Papa Nickel could put on a concert. I can't wait to do that. I'm going to teach Papa Nickel how to pick strings. Teaching a chicken how to play guitar? Yep. Cool. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> It's got chairs. So, are we all back yet? Uh, well, I've actually cabled it. Uh, I just got back myself. I don't know. <laughs> what did you make? You said that you were getting food. Oh, uh, we had, uh, last night I did some just brats. And so I had leftover bratwurst. So... Nice. I just right. heated it up. I don't know what that is. Uh, sausage? Ah! Yeah, sausage. Mm -hmm. Breakfast. Okay, sorry. Yeah. German. No, you're good. <laughs> it's German! <Yeah>. Chaser! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> love that. Fucking, so, in high school, like, starting my high school, I did German for a little bit. It was fucking hilarious because we ended up watching the Avatar movie, you know, with the blue people, and they should have had an Avatar too, but yeah. Big hitbox. For a second, third, um, not to judge you. <laughs> anyway, we watched it in German, and none of us actually learned any German from it, but there was a part of it where it says Scheiser in it, 
and everybody was saying Shiza for the rest of the fucking day. It was fucking hilarious. I think the most German I've accidentally learned was just the little tiny bits that get sprinkled in in, uh, in second season of, of, of Critical Role. <laughs> Shiza is one of them because that's what, what uh, Caleb cool. keeps saying. People of his homeland speak German. Mm hmm. Zemnian. Yep. Ah, oh, this monkey just killed me. He had boxing gloves. Yes, I am still playing Ape Escape. I'm sorry, I'm a kid. Do, do right? No, no, that's a, that, that, that's not a snake. That is just a, a wire going to my headset. I bought a wired headset. <laughs> snake cakes. <laughs> snake cakes. I just don't want her chewing on it. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, Chris. Yeah? I got a question for you. Sure. I have something underneath my journal. And it's a character sheet, but it's listed under spells. Oh, yeah. The, the, the shatter. Everyone has access to those. What is that? Uh, it's the thing I'm working on. I said that I I, w I was playing West Marches, um, this last week. That's when I was playing my Kobold co Kobold Rogue. Uh huh. And uh, they had the, the they had on their thing set up with, uh, community spells that you could just drag and drop, uh, from there. And it oh, and like, you know that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I just didn't think about doing it with NPCs before. So, uh, I okay. I heard you say that. I just didn't. I. I understand now. Got it. I understand. Basically, it's just a, it's just a holder for tokens. Gotcha. Because that's and roll twenty hasn't thought. To, I mean, they put the two types of sheets in for roll twenty. Mm -hmm. You know, the handout sheet and the thing sheet. They should have had the spell sheets as well. I mean, honestly, that's a, that's a feature that they're completely missing the opportunity for. And they, it's not like they can't do it. They've got the materials for that. You set it up so you can put tokens for, um, you know, for spells or even tokens for, um, like, you know, uh, chests, walls, doors, things that have AC but aren't aren't people. Mm -hmm. That you can drag and drop onto onto a screen sometimes, like you know, open close, open close, you know, set things up like saying, okay, I want to have this pre-made token that has, uh, you know, that 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 changes light effects. That can be yeah. opening close. That would be so useful. Then we don't have to keep going to the stupid. Mm -hmm. they, they are missing those those opportunities. I mean, it's not like it, it, from their um, code setup, from from observing it, because I, I haven't actually seen their code. But it looks like those sort of things are possible to do. They just need to to realize that that would be very useful for everybody, and not everybody realizes that they could that how much they need that stuff. Which is probably why not enough people have gotten gotten and told the coders, you know, this is what you should do, do in terms of functionality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That would be so good for like you know a, ra a, a randomly populated dungeon that you want to make on a fly. And just have um, have have be able to set up for for your individual game uh, doors and ro and rooms missing a door slot in various places, uh, just so you can like you know drag and drop with lighting built into them. That 
would be oh that would be so cool because that would also take mm -hmm. out the, the for the people who do like making random dungeons but don't want people to see where things are going next on the fly um that, that would take that, that would just like you know reduce the amount of time it take, makes takes to uh make a dungeon you can just uh make individual uh each gm will be responsible for making their own tokens for walls and rooms and doors and whatnot but they'll be able to mm -hmm. have them with the with the lighting effects already in place Are we still waiting on someone? I think so. I think we're waiting on Fluffy, aren't we? Uh, okay. You just got back. Oh. I've quiet. been in all the, the entire time. Yeah, you've just been quiet. What about Quentin? Uh, Quentin said bye. Okay. Petting. Petting the cat. Alright. So you take your, your short rest. Uh Sin is gonna burn a tireless to lose one point of exhaustion. Alright. Pepper Nichols sure. seems to be setting in. The the other wandering abyssal chickens uh don't seem to be nearly as um as friendly like you know occasionally they'll come over and attempt to nip at you i i i i i'm a I'm, why I, i'm feeding them i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna give them a bit and of my ration once again animal handling at advantage yeah come here chickens um but are you uh, still exhausted of course. Oh, and wait. It works. The, hold the, up. The chickens Disadvantage? Which... Yeah, hold up. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Oh, never mind. That's... He's got his Aussie advantage for, for chicken. Oh, yeah. Only. Anything that's classifiable as a chicken, he, he gets the full animal handling at advantage. <laughs> I gave him that one. I thought it, it, it You know, it happens. Uh. So, guys, if we ever come across chickens, just know I'm your man. I'll handle that. Oh my goodness. I cluck very well. Um. <laughs> you cluck very well? Okay. <laughs> oh, I... Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry for my... No, no. <laughs> no, I, I'm i gonna restrain myself. Anyway, uh, we're, mo we're doing stuff. <laughs> we're doing things. Again. And it's neat. <clears throat> they said it was near the door. Right. Um, the tower, tower in tower the lake of blood. blood. Let's see or something near the door. Or close to the dock at least. It, it's uh, basically it's west of the docks. Yeah, the so level we... basically was telling you this is a, that's a good landmark for you. Yeah, so go to the docks and go west. You seem very adamant on going back to the docks. Yes, I have a vehicle there that's probably stolen, but I want to, I'll still look back if it is. A th vehicle? <laughs> yes. What's... I okay. still have fuel in it. I am unaware yeah, what's going on. I picked up four more soul coins, by the way. Well, one of you did. And we Santa picked up soul coins. <laughs> and we also have some more fuel for it, so it would be very nice and make traveling a whole lot easier. Hmm. For that, we need to go across the stuff. So let's go, everyone. Oh, yep. Either way. I'm a motherfucking wrecking ball. Help, so whatever you guys need done. Yeah, at this point, I don't even know. Oh, pass out on me. Whoa, that's a lot of copies that I accidentally made. I'm trying to get one copy made, and suddenly there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, probably my cat was standing on the keyboard again. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel that. Fucking Annie steps on my keyboard all the damn time when I'm working on spreadsheets. I'm like, Kat, can you not? I don't need 4XJJJJJJ59 in that cell, please. <laughs> I had a stroke. <laughs> Shit to my calendar, too. <laughs> I guess the Crescent will pick up Will again. Yep, here we go again. Here we go again through the silk road. <laughs> well, we almost fucking died not so long ago. I can't believe we, would, we, just, we just thought we could just pop in there and fix it. <laughs> fix what? All the skates being stuck down here. Half of it. Oops, hold on. Got an interruption in my server. One second. Okay. You can continue to talk. I'm just, just letting you know. Hey, I didn't know if you. I, I didn't know what you meant by server, uh, sorry, so. Roll 20 server. But roll oh, okay, 20 got it. Crashed on me. So we. Just pop down here to save the city, and got more than what you bargain what you bargained for, I guess. I got a chicken out of it. <laughs> it's got like a sort of Aussie accent. I don't know how to do an Aussie accent. <laughs> and I'm Australian. It's so hard to do an Aussie accent. Boy, mate, you want chicken, mate? You're already doing. <laughs> Never mind. Like, I have an American accent, but I co couldn't replicate it if I tried. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, just, just a normal Aussie accent. I'm talking about, like, the fucking Crocodile Dundee Aussie accent. Yeah, but yours is real. I know. Because, I, I, I don't know why. I'm, I think it's because I'm New Zealand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't think he's in this game, game group. I think that was Callus or something. Can't remember. Uh, <laughs> Called me and Rick. I... <laughs> well, like I said, uh, I, I imagine that, uh, like, dep depending on wh where you're at, uh, I I can't tell a Canadian accent from other from other American accents because there there's just too little variance between w between the the groupings, and there's just so many accents in America. Um, and some of the same ones that are associated with being Canadian are, are some of the same as some of the Northwestern American accents. Oh no, trust me, once when you hear an Australian next to a pure New Zealand, it is completely different. Yeah. Like, 100% scary different. I don't think I know what New Zealand sounds like then. Eedy boo! Eedy boo! It's like a very high-pitched British teenage boy. <laughs> As a description, I never found out here. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Hey there, bro. What are you doing, fucking doing there, bro? That sort of shit. Anyway. That almost sounds like, a, like an Amer a version of an American redneck accent. <laughs> Fuck. When traveling, go to... Yeah, we're all traveling. To go mm -hmm. to the other side of this thing. Here we go again. It means this Crescent's just following at this point, kind of like thinking, wait. Baldur's hmm. Gate? Is that supposed to be somewhere else? For yeah, that's work. the point. Yeah, material plane, Crescent. <sighs> Interesting how it's here. That's not normal. No. Well, I, I've heard rumors that it was um, some kind of uh, of a ritual that uh, brought it here. From what side? Well, I've heard that it was a bit on both sides. Like, uh, I'm not. Even before my accident, I wasn't the smartest of people, and he kind of rubs one of the scars on his head. Uh, 
Do you uh, mean sides of the blood war or something else? No. no, no. no. Uh, sides of reality? Uh, planes? Something yeah, like I was more thinking of whether or not it was people on the material plane or if it was people in Avernus. But apparently both. Interesting. Senna kind of fiddles with a necklace around her neck. Hmm. My guess it would be people on the material plane messing with something that possibly they did not understand. They tend to do that a lot. Mm hmm. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. But would not surprise me. So y'all came down here thinking that you would save the world. Save Baldur's Gate. <laughs> to save the world, we'll probably need to be back on the material plane. Hmm. That's what you think. And across time, but that's a different story. Time? Cox and eyebrow. <laughs> you know, like... Minutes, hours, seconds. It, it's complicated and... Deep sigh, face palm at Crescent. <laughs> <laughs> I know what time is, Crescent. I'm just curious how it comes into play here. Oh, you stay curious. Oh, the secret of times. Those are the ones that always keep them to the end. Hmm. She was right. There's something larger at play here. <laughs> kind of like Cox and Eyebrow for a second and just nods. All right. Seems to be making mental notes. So how far is this way across? He looks back at Kraken. Uh, Kraken kind of like looks blankly at you for a minute and then... Oh, well, um... I guess, uh... Just need to across the river uh, hopefully there's not too many uh, soldiers in the area uh, there's some watchtowers nearby uh, but I think they're mostly looking for demons so we're, we're gonna have to, to hide the chickens <laughs> just embraces Papa Nickel he will go inside my shed <laughs> to be <laughs> hidden uh, the bearded devil places the the bristle chicken he has gently back into his sack. It'll be okay in there, earwax. It'll be okay. But yes, uh... my chicken's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles, which is kind of odd on a bearded devil's face, but <laughs> my chicken brings all the boys to the yard, and I'm like, it's better than yours. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> but... <coughs> hey, man, no die. Please don't die. <laughs> We like you too much. What'd you say? I said we like you too much, don't I? Mm -hmm. Senna will just, I guess while they're just walking, she's just gonna watch out. And she, I mean, she's always on alert, so she's just gonna 
Watch for anything of interest or anything that could be of danger. So, you're, are you crossing the sticks at this point to the west, or are you going any further north, like such as towards the um, where the docks are? How do you wish to go about it? I think Biddy wanted to go closer to the docks, is what he said. I mean, it will give us a these good idea on which way to go once we get there. So we'll just need to go west of the dock. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Note to self, don't laugh while trying to smoke. <laughs> That's bad. So now there's two things you got to be worried about when playing D&D. <laughs> Smoking and drinking. So have we started flying over yet, or...? No, not yet. Do we want to take any messages? Well, that's what Grizz was just asking. I think it's up to... Biddy's kind of leading this, so it's what everybody wants reason. to do. Biddy's a leader! You shouldn't really trust the guy that just wants to kill and become evil again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are here to help you, motherfuckers. We're not leading the way. <laughs> uh, quick, did we have a long, short rest? Yes. We have a short rest, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I can cast Pass Without a Trace if you want. Alright, so... Okay. We're not really sneaking right now, but we can, really if need be. Right yeah, that would be flying, you're too exposed. You're not within anything that can easily cover you. So Pass Without a Trace would pretty much be useless while you're flying. Are Thanks. we all flying? No. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, how far, like, how far away, if we were to cross these sticks right now, how far away from the docks would we be? Uh, the docks, uh, that would probably take you a few hours, uh, to, like, maybe two hours to walk up towards where the docks were. Hmm. Tina's gonna walk up to Biddy. Having trouble finding your way around here. More like trouble figuring out how best to go about this. Well, what do you want to do? You were talking about some Vickel? Was it Vickel you said? Vehicle. Vehicle. You wanted to find this location called a vehicle? No. <sighs> Face bombs. Whatever. Uh, the location would be the dock. Okay, you want where to find the docks know. where... Yes. Where okay. we know that just west of the docks is where we're trying to get. Do you want to cross here or further north? Uh, usually I leave that decision up for other people to make. But <laughs> I guess we should just cross now. Probably be safer. Sometimes when dynamics change, others need to step up. And she'll just walk off. And she'll be like, everybody ready to cross? Sure. Have we decided how? <sighs> Got to just fly. Isn't that why we took the rest? Yeah. Can't we just fly? Will? Oh. You all can fly? I don't know, I know. How, how big is the gap we need to cross? It's the sticks. It's uh, too big for any of you to jump. 
Senna just looks over at Crescent and just gives a nod. What if I jump and teleport? I mean, can't we just cross the same way we did when we went yeah. to the hive? Yeah, I do. You might not have noticed, I am not feeling quite well. Is okay. there a bridge? No, there's no bridge. Not that I know of. Dragonborn lady! Where, where yeah, did, yeah. Where did Scar go? She, she's not a dragonborn, she's a... a, a strange... Uh, what is it? Abishi? I know, but that's what Lunisa calls her. Oh, okay. She doesn't... Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, she, if she was in the area, she isn't responding. You last left her at the at the Hell Wasp Nest. Uh, I mean, do we really need to go there anyway? Can't we just go where we're going? We can turn back on the way back, and then we'll know boy can fly again, hopefully. I got his wings don't seem to be working. He's tired. Yeah, we can just leave the thing there and just go where we're going, right? Or is there where a... we're going is across the sticks. That's the thing. We have to cross the sticks, no matter where we're going. Isn't there a boat? Uh, the bearded devil looks up. Oh, well, uh, sometimes the ferrymen come come around. Uh, you can usually pay them a soul coin to, to take you across. See? And how long do we have to wait for that? Oh, the very devil shrugs. <sighs> Looks like so there's a limit to what I can do, you know. I know. Fairyman. Well, then I guess we just stay on the sort side of the river and walk as long as we can, and then cross whenever we're gonna run into the same problem. The longer we walk, the time more tired people can can be. Go can Don't we just keep resting here until the ferryman comes? That way, we won't get more tired than we are right now. We literally just took a rest. Yeah, but we could just chill here, right? Man, I'm in no rush wherever we go, to be fair. I'm not either. I mean, wherever we go, we're not going to be able to cross the river, so we might as well just not exert ourselves, chill here, and wait for whatever the boat is to come. I mean, to be fair, but... two of us can get across pretty easily enough. Senator will say, but... I'm not in a rush, but if time is at play here, I don't know what else time will bring. Just tell me what you want us to do. She just kind of like leans up against something. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm here. Much longer. Because I was told we were waiting for information, so I thought, hey, I'll have some fun here. I don't really have a goal. To be exact. I'm here to help you. I think the small one's about to pass out. Yeah, I don't think he can go on very much longer. I can try, but uh, if I fall into the sticks, I will do everything in my power to haunt you. Hey, devil man. Uh, devil do you know, please? Oh. The devil looks pityingly at at um, at Will, uh, friend gnome. If you fall in the sticks, you will forget everything about yourself, and only the worst of of yourself, of your essence, will remain. Yeah, yeah, it's a horrible river. Understand? Um, kind of why I don't want to fly when I'm exhausted if, if, with people on my back. If you don't want to fly, will you? Well, we can just wait for the ferry. Come. That's what I was trying to say. Two people can get across easy enough. Can your vehicle thingy go over here? What? Can your 
carting go over the river. What's with all of that clicking that I keep hearing? It's really annoying. Um, what's not? I heard it though. Now, if we could cross the sticks, I would have taken it. It wasn't me. The sticks. Okay. So we sit here, we wait for the ferry. That's gonna be the gonna be the best bet. We don't want the old one falling into the sticks okay. along with anybody else. So oh. cool your heels and we wait for the ferryman. Like I said, my thing will last about ten minutes. Gonna find something to sit up and lean up against, and she'll continue working on what she was before. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming out. <laughs> That's what the spell is. What you doing? Oh, are you doing this to Senna? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, there's no save for this, right? Not for the surface fuzz, it's hard. Okay, not for surface, okay. But he's more just, he's not really focused on that, he's just more just talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I just wasn't, for, I, I know that you had said it, but I just, I was like, I didn't realize it was, I thought you were going to roll to see who it was, I didn't realize it was Senna. Um. She'll kind of like look up from her parchment for a second and like look to the left and look to the right and then like, get, like, lock eyes with crescent and just be cock head and be like be like what You know, uh -huh. it actually like might it. be quite Sorry, beneficial. I, I, I couldn't hear anybody for a minute. Oh. Okay. Uh, Crescent. Uh, Sin is sitting down and she pulled out her parchment and she's just working on what she was doing before with, like, uh, just mapping out the Nine Hells. And then uh, Crescent is using the Helm of Telepathy. Yep, while we wait for Fairy to arrive. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing a little bit of RP. Alright, go on. I can also use, uh, like once a day, I can cast a suggestion on people that I'm doing this with. Oh, now that is fun. <laughs> Would be interesting because... People can say one thing and then actually mean something else. Good to discern who's lying and who's not. Exactly. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about you having that, though. This could be quite chaotic. Oh. No, no. I think I kind of like it. <laughs> oh. She just smiles just a little bit. <laughs> looks up, uh, looks back down at her drawing. Yeah, mm -hmm. Drop it. Yeah. After after the conversation's done, basically. Yeah, she she'll just tell tell you. I've been uh, mapping out, uh, trying to map out the hells. I had been. Uh, you were with me whenever I mapped out the elemental plane. I'm trying to get a good rate on this one. Yeah. 
But now we wait. Sorry, I cut you off. What? I was just saying. Yeah. The mapping thing's always boring. Well, to each their own. Whatever. I like to know where I'm going and where I've been. Yeah. Also helps get some of the things out of my head. Fair enough. I'm gonna keep and just keep looking around. I know your bowl is no one things are near, but I still like to look. Maybe skim the party. See if there's anything interesting. Anything that they're not telling us. We might be here because the Queen demands it, but always good to know what we're dealing with. Of course. She nods. Goes back to doing her thing. <clears throat> and he'll go for the surface watches of each of the ones that are resting. Starting with probably Irk, because he's the closest. Yes. He's going to do the surface thoughts on Irk. Okay. Whatever's on his mind the moment. I assume he's just the chicken. There's always the chicken. <laughs> always the chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. He's chicken. Probably thinking of something. I, am, I am teaching the chicken to pluck on my guitar in a certain tune. Animal handling check, please. Okay. Come on, chicken. With that bird. Uh, chicken. Up. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, fuck. So, the chicken seems to be able to at least pluck a single string on command. It's only at the first stage. You wait until its final form! Aha! Perception checks? <laughs> Alright. Uh, Cinna. should I also roll perception? You, you can if you want. Cinna. Okay. Uh, well, most of the chickens that have since hatched the spawning trees have wandered off into the, uh, to the fields of black ooze, uh, which you're not quite sitting on, you're just kind of sitting overlooking it on a, on a, a bunch of rocks. Uh, you do happen to glance over towards the area where the sticks is at, at present. And you notice that uh, several of the chickens that have wandered over in that direction have become completely trapped in what looks like bog near the shore and seem to be forming into what looks like eggs or sacks or something. Like, they, they, they seem to be going into little cocoons uh, trapped in the muck over there. Um, I feel like she's not going to care about the chickens very much, but she would let the chicken lovers know <laughs> that there were some, yeah, she'll, uh, so she's out in the rocks, uh, she'll probably just, like, give, like, a little whistle to the group and get their attention. Um, for... Those that enjoy those things. Uh, looks like there's a bunch that are stuck over by the sticks. Uh, Kirk and Dot immediately looks around and frowns hard. Oh, oh, that's not good. No. I thought you should know. I think we 
should probably leave this area. It's mm. not going to be pleasant, I think. Okay. Uh, Fucking hell, that song just gave me the chills. Very well. Which direction are you going? Up. Which way is toward the, the dock side? Well, uh, the, the side of the docks. North or west? West across the sticks or north along the shore? We have to wait till people can fly, so we go north along the shore. Yeah. And then we move up, and then we can like, still like, let Will rest. Yeah. Because of the gnome. Not gently at all. <laughs> I need to focus on Will. Just Will service last week. He's annoyed. But he's also uh, he's also afraid of the river. We're heading north, um, leaving the uh, the spawning trees and the bog the bog behind. And after about a half an hour of travel, uh, you spot. Um, you, you probably spotted this coming down, or at least, actually, you're probably further away from the sticks. But this time, you're using the sticks as a, as a marker. So, you spot the tower that is sitting next to the sticks, like an old um, stone edifice uh, with the various devils up at the t up at the top, looking down, watching the uh, the surrounding area. Down at you guys as you pass. As we're walking, he's going to change his focus to Biddy. Mostly annoyance, but there is the occasional thought of, I wish I had my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it confuses Crescent more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> he would go to Lunis at some point. Uh, Wait, what? It's perception. perception. Oh. I thought she said protection, and I'm like, <laughs> wait, what? What? Perception. Well, for being exhausted, Will's very perceptive. You know. What do I know? Advantage. So, uh, so Will, uh, you're on uh, Irk's back right now. Who, who's nope. Crescent. Crescent's back. Okay. Uh, uh, and you happen to to look up towards the the tower, and you notice several um, spined devils staring down at you. And they seem to be whispering to towards each other. We've been noticed, I say, and kind of point up. Hmm. Glances up. Ah. They don't do anything. I'm not getting a sense that they're trying to get the jump on us. <sighs> Usually. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Doesn't mean that they're not planning something. Crescent glances mm -hmm. up. How far away are they? Uh, the tower is probably within a uh, hundred feet of you, and you can see the devils looking down towards you from the top. That broke up horribly. Yeah, bad. it broke up really bad. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. 
She's got. Oh, okay. she's back. Testing. You can hear me better now. Yes. Okay. So, um, it's like the, it's about a hundred feet away, and the tire tower is thirty feet tall. I'd have to be at the bottom. Mm hmm Yeah. The spine doubles are watching you from the top. This thing's got a range. You're saying that all out in common. What thing's got a range? Nothing. Uh, he's yes. talking about my bow. <laughs> it's sight. <laughs> I mean Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't see that. <laughs> She's not charismatic at all. <laughs> Uh, Senna will pull her bow and knock an arrow. Just not aiming towards them, but she's just ready. It'll just give Senna a little, like, look, but then just keep, keeps walking. Something wrong, Biddy? I don't appreciate... I will. I would have liked a proper answer. So of... would we. Instead of him saying that he was talking about your bow. Secrets have been kept from us. Please, what was it? Uh, intimidation check. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so, as as you guys are continuing to pass by the tower, uh, you notice that one of the the two devils that was watching you uh, has uh, vanished from the rooftop. Oh boy! There's one missing from the top. I'm guessing he's either coming down to speak with us or something else. I really, really hope it's not just talking. Me too. She kind of gets a grin. Nobody's gonna take my papa nigga. <laughs> we are the chicken protectors of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes! Chicken protector, away! Uh, there's no, um... Sin is not getting anything off of her bow, is she? Uh, can, you, can you show me the complete description of the bow? Yeah, sure. One second. I have to copy it because I was not able to find it in Roll20, so yeah, it's on D&D yeah, Beyond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, by danger, are we talking, uh, you know, sting and reacting to orcs and goblins, or are we talking about a spidey sense sort of danger? Um, I can't be surprised. So, okay. I would say that it would spidey encompass sense. everything. It, it, yeah, so it wouldn't, nothing would be able to get the jump on anyone within 30 feet. Yeah. So yeah, like nobody, alert, nobody's currently Benjamin. aiming anything at you guys, is, is basically what it comes down to. Or if somebody's planning on pouncing, that would also classify as, I would imagine. Or aiming a spell, or about so, to the, the fuck with us. The is 100 feet away, so that it's way outside your range anyway. Mm, not really. It says anybody within... 30 feet of me can't be surprised. No, it's like it's like a bubble. I deal with this shit in my campaign. <laughs> At home, it's an annoying weapon, but it's really useful. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like so it's basic. Go ahead. I was saying, it's essentially like giving everyone a version, like a minor version of the alert feed. Correct. 
So, but I would imagine the way I, uh, I just would imagine like a, it, I don't know if it has a range really. Well, or maybe the range is the range of the weapon. Like I said, I'm, I'm then going to tr treat it like a, like Spider-Man. Uh, okay. It's like a spidey sense because it's something that, you know, it won't detect, you know, certain types of creatures that you might think of as enemies within a certain area, uh, and, and glow like sting or anything that might become potentially come hostile. No, it's going to it's going to alert you if something close enough by is, you know, getting right is basically in the process of charging and alert you before it can hit, so it can't get a surprise attack on you. There's no surprise round from anything. Yeah, I can I can I can accept that. E. That's probably more why I like crescents not so worried about getting things getting dropped on them. Mm -hmm. So I guess we just approach the tower? Heading towards the tower? Oh, wait. I thought we were walking towards it. I misunderstood. No, past it. Oh. Well, then we walk past it. It's on, the, it's on the, the, the shores of the sticks, and things were watching you from it. Oh, okay. It's all I thought... I'm looking for. I'm, I'm actually confused about what we are where we're going, because I thought we were going to the tower. Yeah, but we're going to a different tower. I so I think this is a watchtower. This is a watchtower. Uh, yeah, it's tower. not the mage tower. This is a yeah, guard tower, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little uh, confused at first, but then like I, I, the description I have for that tower is that it's in a pool of blood, yeah. a lake of blood. Yep. And it shifts realms. It's not always there. Devil is, uh, you pointed these things out as the, uh, the watchtowers that keep an eye on the sticks. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think um, we're far enough away from what we were before. Sorry, can you repeat that? I think I'm confused. We're trying to get away from the yeah, you're, you 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 Check walked it. for half an hour by this point. So, right. we don't have to walk anymore. Do we, we want to rest here, or do we want to keep going because of the tower? I, I don't know. That's... I I just don't want Will to. No, we need. Get so exhausted. We need a. He needs to rest. I uh, don't want to cross the river. When I'm this exhausted. And then yeah, we that's... rest. Yeah, we're waiting for the ferry. Mm hmm If it arrives. Yeah, if it will. I don't exactly see a sign with a time schedule around. All right. I'm going to try to find somewhere where it, around here that would be a good place to rest. Within view. I'll help. View of the, of the watchtower? Uh, of the sticks, so they can look out for the ferryman. Okay. So uh, and I'll... On past the, the watchtower, then? We're not going further, far enough, so Will can get... We need a rest. Okay. But, I mean... A short rest won't do anything. I know. Long rest. Here's the thing. As a player, I'm thinking... Because we know it's an hour. What if we don't travel fully an hour, take a break every so often, and stagger our moves? And Crescent wouldn't think of that, because Crescent's an idiot. Yeah, technically, Will is just sitting on your shoulders. He's not even traveling. Yeah. But does it have to do with walking or just being in the hells, though? Yeah, I don't know. We don't, yeah, we wouldn't know that as characters. We wouldn't know what would what would circumvent it, except for... No, all I know is that Will has been down here for a long time now. No, yeah. He's more tired when he's laying down. And uh, yeah. most of his things are, oh yeah, you get this at the new dawn, or yeah, you have to have that long rest. Out of character, though, um, how long have y'all been up? 
because uh, y'all were traveling for a very long time and then went to Harmon's Hill. Like, has it been like a full like twenty four hours? Last time the characters slept was at the Hag's place. And then they went immediately from the Hag's place, uh, traveled, took them like an hour on that vehicle to get down to um, to, to, to the dock. Uh, and they pretty much, uh, it only took them an hour to get from where they ended up after the dock to get to Harmon's Hill, and then it's been three hours since then. So And then an hour in the sticks as well. Yes. So it's been like six, seven hours. It's not even been a month okay. yet. Got it, got it, got it. That was more, I was just trying to gauge, like, where the uh, the main party was, uh, sleep-wise. Yeah, it's not exactly long rest time. No, it's not. Um... Will is just so fucking tired of being down there. Yeah, no. And he's starting to feel like uh, Lulu is not being much help. <laughs> it's a wild goose chase. It is. What's a goose? A goose? I did not say that in character. Uh, oh, I, I, I thought you did. I'm sorry. It's like a geek. This is my voice, and this is Will's voice. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I guess we just sit and wait for the ferryman then. Yeah, I guess. The, the door to the, uh, the the nearby watchtower opens, and you can hear from here the the baying of hounds. Oh, good. Kidding me? Erg will wolf back. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> Do we have a line of sight on the tower? Yeah. You never left this line of sight because you said you were going to stop there uh, and, and watch the sticks. Willie's just going to clamper up on like the, the closest tower. height. The, the closest height he can so that he can see for, like further down the river. Like from where the, dog, the sounds of the dogs are coming from? That's just 100 feet away at the tower. So he can, can he see that? Yes. And he sees these... Uh, lar the can he see the hounds? Yes. You, you see a, a, a handful, a pack of hounds coming out of the tower, um, moving along the ground. They are... Uh, th these... They, 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 they are enough like looking like dogs to be classified as hounds, but th there's just something distinctly wrong about them. They're, they're large, yeah. uh, mostly dark. Their skin is like ash, but they're pierced. It looks like when they open their mouths, you can see flames flickering inside. Uh, will, uh, does it look like they're coming towards us? They, they do look like they're stalking in your direction, yes. Alright, I'm done with this, and I just in that general direction. Okay. I range 150 feet. I'm putting just at the edge so that it's going to be 120 feet of tough... No, wait. 40 foot radius. 80 feet of tough terrain from the pass if they want to get to us. And with that, uh, you start hearing a, um, a horn blasting from the top of the tower. <sighs> it is quickly picked up by towers somewhere in the distance. I imagine Senna's bow is doing something now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's starting to glow a bit. Oh, fuck. You're kidding me. But I overreacted. All right, everybody on high alert. We are n 
Yep. Yeah. Those hounds were on our tracks. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. You're. You're good. The red devil you with had no idea you were going to do that, uh, and is now grimacing and going, "Oh no." Uh, we we you'd, you'd better run unless you want to get arrested. Uh, arrested for what? Will didn't even hit him. The. It, the I don't think the people in the tower are going to treat it that way. They're, they think they're under attack. That's, those are the, the alarm horns that, that, that signal there's some kind of incursion. What? that Have they, they, have they never heard about the hell freezing over? <laughs> uh, I, I, this isn't the lair for, free, for frost. Well, get ready for a change. All right. Are we running then, I suppose, again? Are they trying to get through the tough terrain? The, Can the, I see that? The, 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 um, the hounds are spreading out to getting around there, but the, t the, the tower's door is opening again, and uh, at least five heavily armed bearded devils are, um, are stepping oh, outside. This is, this is annoying. We just want oh. to cross the frickin' sticks. All right. Fuck it. Do you want to stay and fight, or should we just get out of here while we can? I, this, this spell will only last a minute. There's really no point in fighting. What are we going to get out of it other than chance of death? Fun. Not when a lot of us are getting exhausted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, gather up. He concentrates on this one instead. <laughs> okay. And then he's just gonna probably walk, uh, start walking away from the river. Because yeah. I, I mean, imagine the, the towers were along the river. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. So... And at this point, Billy's gonna put his uh, hood on. Very harder to see. Senna will go ahead and try to stealth. Yep. Alright, everyone roll your stealth check. Will is going to put his invisibility cloak on. Stealth time. Actually, you know what? He's just gonna stealth normally. Ouch. I'm not very stealthy. That's still a 15. Urk, can you shut that chicken up? I'm, I'm trying, man. <laughs> Got a new shirt now, and uh, the, um, the your bearded devil companion, who also rolled a fifteen, uh, has uh, his chicken put put away in the sack. Mm, the disadvantage for stealth, though. We did, we did do a short rest, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought you said you used your, your you burned one of those things. To yeah, I just, I forgot that there's stuff that I get back for short rest that I just haven't, new character, so that's all. I was just yeah. verbally processing. Sorry. Just ignore me. <laughs> um, okay. Where's the PDF? Oh, uh, there we go. All right. Long rest. Okay. Yeah. Got it. You guys uh, managed to sneak away. Uh, Long rest. Okay. Head off. Blasted landscape of Avernus. After another half hour and no detectable pursuit, uh, I would like you all to roll a constitution, a constitution saving throw. Oh Jesus! Hmm. Come, come so on, we well. have to walk for an hour. Uh, being carried. I imagine I picked him up. Yeah, you're, you're, sorry, uh, anyone who's being carried is 
does not have to, to, to roll. Oh. Yeah, I, otherwise I'm moving at half movement speed, so I'm guessing it's just logical. Yeah, but whoever's carrying the, the, the person uh, has to roll at disadvantage. Except if it's Crossage, who's evil, so doesn't have to roll at all. Hey! Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna grab uh, my like, this clothes and just like hoist them on my shoulder. I'm if, wait, I have a question. If that was the case, then would Will ha would have had to roll the last one to get the third hit? Because Crescent picked him up whenever his speed was halved. Yeah, he, he, he... Oh, did he? Wait, wait. Yeah, once his speed, once he started slowing down, Crescent got Sorry, annoyed I, I and picked him up. At that point. Yeah, yeah. Once your speed slowed down, you would have been picked up at that point, yeah. So, you so that means now Will I only has two. two. Now I have half speed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna carry both of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta do for Senna. Hold on. Uh, Con. Come on. Alright, so if I didn't have a third level. Can you handle a, a gnome and a halfling at the same time? Uh, I have 12. Yeah, you would have <sighs> only had two. Yeah, you can, I think you can only manage one of them. Yeah, if I. Oh. If I would have known I only had two levels of exhaustion, I would have flown us over the river. It's it. one hey, level. I hate when we make those, those sort of mistakes. Blah. Because the uh, disadvantage on saving throws, if I drop someone, mm -mm, nope. Oof, Lunisa. I mean, I only have one level, so it's not that bad. Uh, Just a one. It's now, now kicked down to half speed. Does that affect? Does that affect deck rolls? Mm mm. Really Checks. It one. should show on your sheet. Uh, so, Eric, are you carrying Biddy now? I will try to carry Biddy while also carrying my chicken. Your chicken is is very light, so. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to drop you. I promise. You better not, otherwise they'll not... be sorting you back. Yep. Purchase subject. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, fuck. You pay attention. <laughs> Just an oblivion. Uh-huh. As, as you guys are walking around, and as the... Even as the uh, the poor halfling suddenly just gets more and more tired, you are the one that spots a two-wheeled infernal machine <gasps> parked next to a large rock. You machine! On top of that rock, wind, uh, hot wind blowing back their hair, you see a slender elf-like figure with green skin and red hair. No, oh, I know that person. You do? Yeah. Well, at least I think I do. Yeah, you would have pointed out as soon as you saw behind it. them yeah. appears to be a cusp of green trees with brilliant green leaves and bits of purple flowers. There even appears to be a small pool of water amongst these trees. That's not natural. I mean, it is natural, but not here. <laughs> Will could Will just look at it and think is that an illusion? Yep, roll intelligence. Yeah, mm. I wanna, I wanna do that as well. Uh, disadvantage. Sorry, fifteen. That's fine. So you kind of glance at it. Twelve. William and Biddy. Will, sorry, Will and Biddy, and yeah, that is definitely the effects of hallucinatory. A terrain behind this guy, and it looks ah, like it's not Fae real. Wave. But he it's does have a vehicle. Yeah, you think he's gonna give it to us? I'll I'll remind you that that, that guy. Us. I'll remind you that 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 name of that person that we learned from the Hag, I believe, that that is Smiler the Defiler. I like him already. Oh. oh, we just lost. Oh no! Ah, we lost shuttle. What? 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That's my we didn't lose shuttle. Shuttle has been... <laughs> <laughs> shuttle has been... We got the drop. Where am I? You see the side of the boat and the back? Here! <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. Uh, and then I saw Shadow's thing flash, and then somebody joined back in. I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, so... oh, we lost Shadow. I'm like, what? <laughs> Did I just miss something? Am I hallucinating? <laughs> yes. It's a hallucinatory terrain on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> so we're approaching this one, or are we avoiding him? I had a small talk to him. I don't. I think the hag said something about him maybe being able to help us. Alright. He'll start walking in that direction. Mm hmm. Senna will follow Crystal. Yeah. The Eladrin. Uh. The, the Eladrin. Uh. Turn, turns around to, fi to face you all and just kind of smiles at the group of you. you See, know, I told you. Full of smiles. And is busy doing, you know, <clears throat> just kind of grins. <sighs> Hello down there. Sup? What can I do for you? Seem to have caught me at a bad moment. A looks bad at, moment. Looks at Will. He shrugs and. <sighs> well, all moments are bad, aren't they? <laughs> so, what brings you folks out here? Come to see my, uh,. My little oasis. Yeah, yeah, the illusion. Yeah. Uh, do you, would you happen to know the way to the bleeding citadel? Hmm. Oh, that sounds like a fun place. Probably not. That's what I said. I think I would enjoy going to a place called the bleeding citadel. He kind of hops down off of the off of his rock, and the, the terrain, this you know, the hallucinatory terrain, is sort of vanishes and he makes his way over to you. So, is Senna's that where keeping you're a... heading? Oh, hold on. I'll type it. Yes, we're heading that way. We're trying, at least. Not succeeding. Yeah, apparently they don't. no one knows where it is. No, and N yeah. Hey, Lulu, you met this guy before? Does he bring up any memories? She kind of looks at him and looks back at you. Uh, no. All right. And he goes, ha, ah, hey, what's this little, little thing? And he it's the Holyfant. Runs over. I don't think I've seen anything like you before. Hmm, you look like you could be fun. Here, do a trick. Flip, flip around in the air. Do it, do it, do it. What? Lulu just kind of does that. And then the, the ladron looks over and runs over to Urk. What about you? What sort of tricks can you do? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I got I this. I think that he's getting off of Urk before he does something stupid. 